So this comet won't come back in another 6,800 years. So this is pretty good opportunity for us So I believe by the time I come here to record, I thought the light is going to fail. So I wanted to make sure I can record it before it gets too dark. So I set up this thing here to make sure I can take a picture of that comet Neowise again and take a good look at it because I got a lot of trees and everything coming in my obstruction. So right here, is the west where the sun just came down and the Arsa Major is going to come, the constellation is going to come like this. So tonight Arsa Major is going to be, the four stars are going to be on the down and the tail is going to be up. So when the box, the rectangle box is pointing down in the sky on the top, if you keep looking down the sun is over here, it already set. Ursa Major is over here. When the Ursa Major is on the top, if you keep looking down, not all the way to the horizon, somewhere in the middle of those four stars and below, pretty close to the horizon, that's where you would see the comet, Comet Neowise. This is in the central time zone. I'm in like north of Dallas, Texas. And that's where I'm planning to see this comet. So if you are using like Celestron Astro Master 130, which is kind of a beginner telescope, even with that telescope, without any tracking mount, you should be able to take a good picture of the uh, comet um, very well. I think it's going to be a close-up view. So here I'm going to put the ZWO 120 uh, color camera that's what i'm thinking first i'm going to actually see the comet with the with just an eyepiece i just wanted to have a look at it good look at it also i'll try to take some pictures with the red cat as well to see how they are going to come out we are seeing the report saying that people are able to see the comet without a telescope but here in texas i think it is still low and sun is still bright, like the sunlight at least. So you need to wait until the sun goes down and wait until you can see the stars. Without you looking at the stars, you won't be able to take actually a good look at the comet using your telescopes. So with your own eyes, when you see the stars, that's when you start taking pictures of this comet. You don't want to wait too long but you, you wanted to wait at least the first few stars come on the west side. That is probably your best indication to start taking pictures of the comet. So if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have to take my mic out before I start my real work. I hope you guys are excited as much as I am.